Morning, all. Hi, Bob. Hello, Suffy. New dog, Tilly? No, I'm just looking after him. Oh, ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me one moment. Morning. Yes, this is the vet. Can you speak up? <laughs> What? I think Cooper likes to chase cats. Here, Cooper. Maybe you should have a reception area that keeps cats and dogs separate. Uh, could you build that for me today, Bob? Oh, that would be great. Right. I'll do that then. Right, team. We're going to turn the vet's reception area into two rooms. Wait a minute. This makes a really loud noise. It might scare Pilchard and Cooper. I can take care of Pilchard and Cooper. I'm really, really good with animals. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Um, Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <coughs> Good, Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get Cooper. Oh. That didn't go quite to plan. Cooper, look out! Ooh. Hey, don't dogs like to play ball? OK, let's get this job finished. Yes, yes Bob! Bob. Would you mind taking our photograph? It's for the town hall newspaper, you know. Of course. No problem. Cooper! No! Not Lady Tibble! <laughs> <laughs> Get down, boy! No! No! Bob, do something! Today, we are building Curtis a new car wash. Excuse me! <gasps> Sorry, Roly. The car drives in here, the mainframe moves over the car, the brushes spin around to give it a clean and... Beep, beep! <gasps> Sorry, I've missed a bit. Bob, I thought my car wash would be up and running by now. Sorry, Curtis. Roll is still rolling. It's done. The tarmac is flat. Hooray! Right. Our first job is to assemble the mainframe and lower it onto these runners. Leo, you're in charge of connecting the car wash to the water supply. You got it, Bob. Wendy, we'll need the control console fitted here. I'm on it. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> now that's what I call a proper car wash. Curtis. Will you start it for us? I'd be honoured to, Bob. The brushes are turning nicely on their axles. Mainframe running smoothly. Everybody wait! I think I should roll the tarmac out some more. Why, Roly? There might be bits of tarmac swishing around the car wash. Tell you what, Roly, why doesn't Leo do another test run just for you? Then you can watch everything closely and if there's any loose tarmac, you can roll it out later. Thanks, Bob. Green is for go. Uh-oh. I can see some loose tarmac. I'll just roll them flat. <gasps> Rolly, watch out. Stop! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Don't worry, Rolly. We'll soon have you out of there. Oh, no. How did this happen? It's my fault. 
I didn't listen. Leo said not to go in when it was running, but I was too busy rolling. Let's get Rolly out of that mainframe first. Slowly, Rolly. The brushes have popped out, but that's what they're designed to do. No real damage to the mainframe, but we're going to need another console. OK, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well, that looks a lot better, but will it work? As long as the mainframe resets itself, we're back in business. <laughs> as good as new! Could you build that new shower block next to these bedrooms, please, Bob? No problem. I've already drawn up some plans. This looks amazing, Bob. OK, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Here we are, then. Out you get, Spring City Rockets. Hi, Brandon. Who's my favourite nephew? We can't wait for tonight. Uncle Phil so we could camp out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'd forgotten I'm taking your Auntie Val out for dinner, Brandon. You'll have to do it another time when I'm here. Aww. What if I looked after them? Please, Uncle Phil. OK. <laughs> I'd love to try camping. Sleep in the girls' tent with us tonight, then, Dizzy. Let's make sure there are no insects in the tent this time, Mila. Insects? Oh, I don't really like creepy crawlies. Last time, Safi found an earwig in her sleeping bag. Maybe I'll camp with you another time. I wish I was camping with the others. But I really don't like creepy crawlies. But maybe they've got them all out of the tent by now. Ditty, it's too late now. What did we both go now? Hey, you're not going without me. But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. Ooh. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you. <gasps> the creature! Ah! Everyone get into Betsy! Wait for me! Oh, ah! We're going home. Where is Dizzy? I thought she was behind you. We have to go back and look for her. Not on our own. It's too scary. We'll have to wake Bob up. <gasps> we didn't realise you weren't with us until we got back to the yard. Are you OK, Dizzy? I'm fine. Huh? <gasps> How did all that happen? That might have been us, Bob. I think we're going to have to come back very early tomorrow. Sorry, sorry, Bob. We're really sorry about the mess, Mr Lucas. We'll put everything right. You'll see. This looks amazing, Bob. Thank you all for finishing on time. You've all done an excellent job building Spring City Splash, but we still have one thing left. The Double Dragon Water Slide. Guests will climb a ladder up to the dragon's tail, then slide down the dragon's body and shoot out through its mouth into the splash pool. Dragons are the best. Hi, guys. <laughs> Don't mind us. It's my birthday and I'm having a party here tomorrow morning! Did you hear that? We have to finish by tomorrow morning. Let's get to work! Yeah! Let's see who is doing what job. Scoop to build the dragon slides. I need you to help build the support beams for the slides. Oh! See how this marker sticks out of the hole? Yeah. We need the hole to be deep enough so that the marker fits in completely. Perfect. Now, Scoop, you have to dig the trench as deep as this hole. Oh, the dragon slides! I can't see anything from here. 
Wendy sent us to help finish the support beams. Scoop, you come in. Yes. OK, before we start, I have to check that the trench is deep enough. Hmm, let me check the plans again. Hmm, why don't we just start? Lofty, you lower in the beams and I'll hold them in place. What if the trench isn't deep enough? Oh, I'm sure it is. Uh, OK. It's in place and straight. Dizzy, pour the concrete. Let's get started. <gasps> Finished! Huh? Now the slide sections are here, I need Lofty to lower them onto the beams. Bob, Lofty, wait! The beams are going to collapse! Leo, get down, quick! What happened? It's all my fault. I don't think I dug the trench deep enough. I know support beams don't sound as exciting as dragons, but they are just as important. But what are we going to do? I would work all night to fix this. And that's exactly what we're going to have to do, Scoop. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, we can! <laughs> Space Robot Muck, get ready for hyperspace. Right behind you. You two look like you're having fun. We're playing Space Robots in hyperspace. Maybe you should think about getting some sleep. Oh, can we stay up a bit longer, Bob? <laughs> OK. But remember, you're having a sleepover because we've got a very early start. Thanks, Thanks Bob. Bob. I've made up the sofa bed for you, Leo, so don't be too late. OK. <gasps> what? What? It can't be morning already. Good morning, Leo. All ready for the big day. Morning, all. Nice to see you up bright and breezy. Leo, I need you to load those hooks and plates onto Muck, please. <sighs> yes, Bob. Today, we're finishing off the Spring City Wheel. Yesterday, we built the A-frame and Dizzy cemented it in. So today, we have to build the wheel itself and raise it up so it can spin around. Then we have to fit the observation pods for people to sit in. The pods are fitted with hooks and metal plates, so we need you to bring them to the site. So let's get going! Last one there is a wheelbarrow! I already feel like a wheelbarrow. Permission to rest up for a bit? Oh, good idea. If we have a quick nap now, we'll be full of energy later. So, these are the observation pods. And the curved steel tubes for the outside of the wheel are over there. So now all we're missing is Leo and Muck with the hooks and plates. Do we need Leo and Muck if we're going to get the job done before the Spring City rockets get here? Let's press on anyway. One Spring City wheel coming up. Steady as she goes. Still no sign of Leo and Muck. No. I'll try calling them. Mm. Hello? Leo, where are you? We need those hooks and metal plates mm. right now. Sorry, Bob. We stopped for a bit and, um, drifted off to sleep. What? But don't worry. We'll be back with you just as soon as I wake Muck up. Bob, everyone. I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Yay! <laughs> well, Space Captain Leo, are you going to have a go on the wheel? <laughs> I can't wait to get building. I'm quite a dab hand with the old drill, you know. I'm sure you are. Ah, here you go. You can pick up the materials you need from the yard. They're all listed on the plan. Wonderful, Bob. Many thanks. Good luck with your tidying. Thanks. 
think I'll need it. Shifter, I need to collect all the bits I need for the new garden shed that I'm building. OK, Mr B, what can I get you? We'll start with the timber. Uh, according to this plan, I'll need, uh, oh, 30 pieces of 2 by 4 30? Brilliant! Need a hand? That's quite an order. Thanks, Lobster! Brackets, screws, hinges... And 20 pieces of 2 by 6 20? Wow, that's a lot for a garden shed. Well, that's what it says on Bob's plan. And Bob knows best, eh, Lofty? That's right, Shifter. Bob does know best. Then there's 10 cinder blocks, the plywood sheeting... I'm on it! If you want it shifted, call for Shifter. I'm the guy. There's no one next to you! Well, steady there, Shifter. Slow down, steady. Ooh! Oops. Nice and careful, remember? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Lofty. You know, I think we're going to need two ton to carry this lot. Ah, I think it's a brilliant idea, Lofty. Museum. M for museum. That goes under M. Uh, vet. V for vet. So that goes under V. <sighs> this is thirsty work. I think I need a cuppa. No. Where did I leave my mug? That's it. I'm ready to roll. Splendid. Thanks, Shifter. Thanks, Lofty. Good luck building your shed. Bye, Mr. Butler. Oh, yes. I've seen some sheds in my time. Back in Moose Jaw Creek, they made sheds out of ice. What happens when the sun shines? Sun? <laughs> You've never been to Moose Jaw Creek, have you? Let me tell you all about it. Uh, well, <gasps> it's very strange, Mr. Bentley. We still can't find any reason for the alarm to be going off. Well, in that case, there's only one explanation. It was a ghost. A ghost? Come on, you two. There are no such things as ghosts. But oh. Mr. Bentley said that was the only explanation. Oh, I'm sorry, Lofty. That was just a joke. We'll have to leave the alarm off and stay here to see if we can find out what can be triggering it. I'd be happy to patrol the rear of the town hall, Bob. Thank you, Mr Bentley. Wendy and I will stay inside. And Lofty, mm. you and Dizzy watch the front of the building. OK, team? Oh, yes! yes! Yes, sir, Bob, sir. Oh. Don't worry, Lofty. If we do see any ghosts, I'll keep you safe. Um, OK, then. There's definitely no problem with the wiring on these sensors. We'd better check the rest of the building, then. <laughs> Look! What was that? Is that a ghost? No, that's just an owl, Lofty. Phew. That's OK, then. Hmm, at least I think it was. What? I'd better check the side of the building. I'll only be a minute. OK. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as... Oh, oh. Hurry up, Dizzy. She'll be back in a minute. That's only 60 seconds. 59, 58, 57. Hmm. Um. 30, 29, 28... No, Dizzy! Ah! No, Dizzy! Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you okay? <laughs> hmm, all clear here. Better see how Lofty and Dizzy are getting on. That's it. Just breathe slowly. In and out. In and out. <clears throat> <laughs> It's just you, Mr. Bentley. Oh, are you okay, Lofty? <laughs> well, we've checked the rest of the building, so the answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? Oh, ah! May Moon has a very special task for us today. I need my launch pad finished. What are you launching? A rocket! Spring 
the city is entering the space age! May here is going to attempt to break the record for launching the smallest rocket into space! A proper space rocket! Can we see? Can we see? She's called Stella. Oh, I can't wait! Careful! Stella is a very sensitive piece of hardware. OK, guys. First, we need to dig a big pit just here for Stella's exhaust to blast into. Got that, everyone? Oh! Uh, Lofty, you'll have the most important job, lifting Stella into position. OK, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Can I lift Stella onto the launch pad yet? Soon, Lofty. You can put Stella in place once the concrete is set. You just need to be patient. I'll be patient. There. All done. <gasps> they finished. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Steady. Wait, Lofty! <laughs> Careful, Lofty! You're going to... rip the parachute! Stella! My dream is covered in wet concrete! We'll get Stella flying, somehow or other. Really? Can you really...? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Gently! She won't fly like that! Perhaps... Yes, Lofty? We could clean Stella using the machine wash back at the yard! That's a great idea! We still have a problem. The parachute is torn. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Are we ready to launch? Yes! Four, three, two, one! idea to use the banner to patch the parachute, Lofty. So, where is Stella now? There! Yeah! 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 Uh, Mark! What on earth have you got in your jumper? Oh, uh, it's, uh, manure, Sky. It makes the flowers and, um... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just go. Oh. It's... it's at the back of my eyes. Oh, no. It's the Spring City Rockets. I don't want them to smell me as well. I think I'll go the long way around. Maybe if I go fast enough, no one will notice the stinky smell. Uh, yeah. Huh? Right. Uh. Thanks, Lofty. There we are. That's out of sight, isn't it? I can still see it. What if we put it right next to the shed? You'll hardly see it at all there. Mm, but I'll still be able to see it a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find just the right place for it. Up we go again, Lofty. Hmm. I think closer. Here. No, 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 no. Further away. OK. As long as you're sure. Oh, no. No. Mm. No. No. It'll be over, over there. there. Huh? What? I think further away. Oh, no. Closer. Further away. Closer. Oh. Nearly there. Oh, no. It's Philip. I don't want him to think that I'm stinky. Don't worry, Mom. <gasps> Slow down, Mark. <laughs> Be careful, Mark. <laughs> oh, <gasps> oh, oh. Mark, oh. What on earth is going on? 
I'm sorry, Bob. I didn't like it when people thought I was smelly. So I went a really long way round so people couldn't smell me. And then I, I got late and in a real rush and then I... <laughs> it's all right, Mug. It's all right. And you're not smelly. It's just the manure. Yes, Mug. And we'll give you a good wash when you get back to the yard. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And after that, you'll smell as fresh as one of Mayor Madison's roses. Oh, well, no turnips for me. Oh, at least the beds for my flowers are still all right. <sighs> Hi, Wendy. Is Shifter OK? Oh, I'm afraid not. He's hiding in the gravel store. He won't talk and he won't come out. We'll have to try and put this right somehow. And then we need to get the garages finished. Bob, could I try talking to Shifter again? I wasn't very kind to him just now and I really would like to share with him. Thank you, Dizzy. That's very sweet of you. Yes, it really is. Bob and I should have explained everything to Shifter before we started. But I'm sure you're the best one to talk to him. Come on, then. Let's see what we can do. I'm sorry I was cross, Shifter. Go away. Please, Dizzy, I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I didn't mean what I said about not wanting to share with you. I really do want to share. And I love the idea of one red wall and one that's green with orange round it. You mean, like I want for my garage? Yes, and I've got a brilliant butterfly poster up, but there's room for another, so we could have a dash lightning poster too. <gasps> like Mox. Yes! Dash Lightning, so amazing. We can play Dash Lightning games. What does he say? Zoom! Boom! Lightning strikes twice. <laughs> I know lots of Dash Lightning games. Will you teach them to me? OK. Bob, can you and Wendy paint Dizzy's garage today? We certainly can, Shifter. Just as soon as you've given me those bolts. Oops. <laughs> and we finished building the new garages. Yeah! Let's do it! Well, guys, what do you think? Oh, awesome, Bob! Amazing! Well, Bob, I've had some good garages in my time, but I can safely say this is the biggest and best garage ever! Excellent! That's good to hear! Well done, team! And now you all have to come and see our garage. Bob and Wendy have painted it, and we've got a dash lightning poster and a butterfly poster! Yeah! And we're going to have a dinosaur poster. And what about cement? Cement? Really? Uh huh. Uh, okay then. Hey! Huh? Um. Excuse me. Right. <gasps> hmm. Okay. Phew. Huh. <laughs> So do I. Well done, everyone. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. No prob. <gasps> Pilchard! How did you get up there? Oh, you were supposed to be looking after her, Scoop. I said it was a bad idea. What's she doing here? Oh, no! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, it's all my fault, Bob. What happened was Tell it... me later, Scoop. Right now, we need to get her out of there. Can't go in while the bears are there. It's not safe. Maybe I could lift my bucket over the fence. That way she could climb in. Pilchard! Here you go! Pilchard! Oh, think Scoop. What does Pilchard like? I know! Quick, Bob! We need fish! Brilliant, Scoop! I just got some ready for the penguins' lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Lower your bucket, Scoop! Fishy, fishy! Now 
this fish for you. Uh oh. <laughs> I forgot bears love fish too. <laughs> Come on, Pilgrim. <laughs> yes. Are <laughs> oh, you silly cat, Pilgrim? I thought that bear was going to hurt you. Sorry, Bob. I should have known a building site wasn't a safe place for a pet. Especially not a site full of wild animals, Scoop. But I'm just so relieved she's safe. I brought her to work because Safi said she took her dog to school and... Hey! Safi's class is coming to the zoo this afternoon. We need to work extra fast to clear up. Yes, please. I really need to open the zoo now Pilchard's safe. Right. Let's go, team. I'm so sorry. I've ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. OK. Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera's OK, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And, Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either, especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one. So, who? Who's going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey? Mm? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I am ready for my big mo. Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can. Mm, yes, you can. Give it a test drive. Conveyor belt? What's that for? <laughs> it's to move the food around the restaurant, Scoop. Ready, steady. <laughs> Lunchtime builders. Toot toot. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Mmm, fabulous, Chef Tatty. This is my favourite kind of dining. Last chance for lunch, Bob. <laughs> bon appetit. OK, I'll try this one. What do you think, Bob? Tatty-licious! Hey! <laughs> ah. Well, Scoop, what do you think of the conveyor belt? I think it's magical. Hmm. I can't believe Sylvain pulled that rabbit out of his head. Now that's proper magic, that is. Ha! That's not magic. This is magic. Behold! 
The color changing balls of mystery. Green, red, blue, and purple, all sitting on the uh, uh, table. Abracadigga, Alakazala. Um, come on. Hmm. Make the balls change their colour! Ta-da! Pink, white, yellow, orange. Wow! Uh, that actually is quite a good trick, Scoop. Oh, yes! It's brilliant! Do it again, Scoop. Yes, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um, OK, then. Africa Alakum! Whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa! No, stop! No, 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 no. Stop! Whoa! Don't go! Stop! Stop! I'm going to stop! I'm going to stop! Oh, Scoop, what have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop. And preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can fix it in time. So, team, let's get to work. So... Just the car park to lay and a few inside bits to finish off before the grand opening. Wow! Muck, you'll be laying the aggregate. Lofty, you'll be shifting materials. And Scoop, you'll be mixing the concrete for the car park with two-ton. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. You know Chef Tatty's milkshake bar is going to be a really fun place? Well, I thought we could experiment with some new ingredients. Oh, no, no, no. You never mess with concrete, Scoop. We'll be making the usual concrete. Oh. How's it going? Not great. A handful of those and a big dollop of that. Let's try a bit of this and one of those. A couple of these boys. Wow! I love trying new mixtures and creating new colours. There's no way I am going to be making the usual concrete. Today, I will be mixing up the Scoopalicious Concrete-tastic surprise. I'm back and ready to mix, Tutan. Ah, there's nothing like the usual concrete. And this will be nothing like the usual concrete. It's so colourful and fun and... and squelchy and sticky. This concrete's not dry. This is the strangest concrete I've ever seen. Oh. Anyone can make a mistake, Scoop. I did it on purpose. On purpose? When I saw Chef Tatty experimenting with different colours and ingredients, it looked so much fun. I wanted to try something fun too. Right, Scoop. I want you to try again using some fun ingredients that don't come out of the dustbin. Yellow, red and blue cement! <laughs> Looks way better than that other mess you made, Scoop. Thanks, Muck. Bob? It's called snowboarding, Scoop. It looks brilliant! I was 
wish I could go snowboarding. <laughs> hey, watch out, Scoop. Oops, sorry, Leo. I'm not going to win first prize at the Winter Inn Spring Festival tonight with a headless snowman. Hi, Bob. <laughs> here for a spot of snowboarding? Well, we're not here for snowboarding, Sky. We've come to finish the chairlift. Cool. Awesome. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. You've earned yourself a free snowboarding lesson. Oh, well, I... OK. It can't be that hard, can it? Looks easy. Uh, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Whoa! Oh. Not space plant, Bob. Oh. Can I ever go on the snow too? I've only got snow chains for Lofty. You can't drive on the snow without them, or you'll slip and slide all over the place. Sorry, Scoop. Oh. OK, Lofty. Fire it up, Leo. Thanks, Team Bob. Maybe I could have a really quick go on the snow while no one's watching. <laughs> this is fun! This is totally extreme! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm really sorry for ruining your ski run. Maybe I could make it up to you by building you a really big jump. Yes, please. Sounds like a plan, Scoop. Let's go. Thanks, Guy. Maybe winter's not so bad after all. Hi! Hey, Wendy! Hi, Bob! Hi, Lofty! Whoa! Bob and Wendy are building you that treehouse. Wendy's my hero, and she can build anything. Right, Wendy? And we can hold our first club meeting today, at tea time. You want the treehouse finished today? Yes, please. That's OK, isn't it, Wendy? Of course. Brilliant! Thank you. It'll be the best clubhouse ever. Bob and Muck, you go back to the yard and cut the timber for the support beams. Lofty, you stay here and help me, and then I'll call Dizzy to pour cement for the foundations. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Floor painted. Check. Paint drying. Check. <sighs> right. I'm here to help get the treehouse ready. Um. Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! <laughs> Wendy! We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse. No, Safi, wait! This is pouring in cement. <laughs> well, that's enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. How's it going, hero Wendy? Help! What was that? Safi! Help! Why were you up there, Safi? The treehouse isn't ready yet. <gasps> The trophy! Don't worry, Safi. I'll get it. Oh, it's too far down. Oh. <gasps> Letting go! My hero. Team, 
I need all wheels on deck. Now! The cement is dry, so the treehouse is ready to use. Wow! That really is amazing! I want one! I want one! I want one! <sighs> Room in your schedule for three more, Wendy. Of course. What was that? Uh, nothing, Scoop. But you're in my way. Oh, sorry. You only had to say. Ah, I know where they'll be safe. Hi, Bob. This is the first one for the upper level. OK, Lofty. You need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right. Here we go. Oh. Yes, this place looks nice and safe. Oh, a little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Uh, not sure. Uh, an aeroplane? OK. Lower your winch now. right out, Bob! <laughs> I can't hold it! Oh, below! <laughs> oh, no! Lofty, are you all right? <laughs> no, Bob. I can't move at all. What happened? It was lifting this heavy concrete so high. I think I've broken something. Oh, Lofty, you should have told us. You're going to need some repairs. I just wanted to keep up with Tiny. I thought I could do it. But I was wrong. Bob, that's the only exit and now it's blocked. What are we going to do? Maybe I can reach it. Yeah. <sighs> No, sorry, guys. It's too far away. So how are we going to get out? Uh, well, if I can get out, Curtis can fix me. And then I'll be able to unblock the entrance. Um, I know I should have accepted your help earlier, Tiny. But maybe you can help me now. Sure, little guy. Here I am, Tiny, ready for my extra heavy load. Stand by, Two-Ton. Time for some tower power. Steady, Tiny. Ew! Oh, I'm so high up. <laughs> Hello down there! Whee! -hee. OK. Here goes. How exciting. Yeah! One crane for delivery to Curtis. Ready to go, Lofty? Ready to go. Drive on, Tutan. While you're gone, would you like me to put in some sections for you? Oh, uh, yes, please, Tiny. That would be a big help. Well, the Spring City Ice Rink is coming on well. I can't wait to see the Rockets play ice hockey on it. Over here! Whoa, they're so fast. They'll be even faster on the ice. Ooh. Playing ice hockey looks so much fun. <laughs> I'm afraid ice and machines as big as you don't really mix, Muck. Oh. Uh, hello, Rockets. Um, Bob, we were supposed to be playing an ice hockey match at the Spellertown rink tonight. But their chiller broke down and the ice melted. So we wondered, uh, if... We could play here instead? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but it's not really ready. What if we worked really fast? We can work really fast. Well, um, maybe we could. Bob said they could. Uh, Yay! I... Come on, jump in, Rockets. Uh, what just happened? You just told the Rockets that we would have the rink finished for tonight. I did? Then in that case, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Great! 
cold as a polar bear's nose. Hmm. It must be ready by now. I've always wanted to be a little bit faster. Lofty, not you too. Ah! I'm really sorry, Bob. I thought playing ice hockey would be fun. That's okay, Muck, but it was very dangerous. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? You know how things move faster on ice? Well... Shut in! Just in time. You did it! That was way off to the left. The thing you have to remember, Lofty, is that ice hockey is a very fast game. You have to stay in control. We can't have a medieval festival without a castle, can we? I'm very excited about my starring role in the festival tonight. Oh. The castle doesn't have a portcullis. Let's get Bob onto this straight away. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. We'll be there right away. OK, we need to build a portcullis for the castle. Now, does anyone know what a portcullis is? It's like a big gate that can be lifted up and down. And it looks as if we've got some repair work to do on the drawbridge, too. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Make sure you secure your winch, Leo. OK, Wendy. Oi! How dare thee trespass! I command thee to retreat, foul beast! Leo, is everything secure? Take this and that! <laughs> Leo! Leo! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? <laughs> <sighs> Guess I'll just have to find a different way out. <laughs> what was that? What's wrong, Leo? I think it's a ghost. You're no match for the gallant prince, Fixalot. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, Leo. Just sit tight. I've got a brilliant plan to get you out. First, we're going to need to fix the drawbridge so it's strong enough for Muck to cross. It's heavy. Oh, who's there? Gull? Is that you? Hello. Your Majesty. My, my, you look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? Uh, of course not. <laughs> right. There you go, Prince Fix-a-Lot. Um, thanks a lot. Yay! Yay! Well done, Bob! Well done, team! Bye, Bye Bob. Bob! The castle is ready for the festival. Hi, Henry. We're here. Jockeys, please dismount. I'm not a jockey. I'm a cowboy. Woohoo! Leo, you'll be pleased that we're here to build extra stables for those horses we just saw. They're not just any horses, Bob. They're thoroughbred race horses. They're extra fast and extra nervous. I've been trying to catch them all morning. 
Well, now the panels are here, we can get started. Don't worry, you'll have your stables in no time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> Well, I don't know where Leo's got to, but we'll have to get on and fit the roof without him. Yee-haw! Ride him, cowboy! No, 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 no! <laughs> this is a racetrack, not a rodeo. for the racetrack. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. Oh, but how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? We're not going to race them. Remember, they're scared of machine noise. Hold up, Scoop. Now, let's go. Lofty, extend your crane arm we're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. It's not fast enough. <gasps> oh! Whoa! <sighs> Phew! Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Ah, uh, it took all night, but we did it. And they're off. <laughs> <sighs> 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 